Welcome to Business 301, Business Analytics. I am Professor Dean and I will be guiding you through the course. The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of the Blackboard site for the course. Here you will see that I am in student mode, meaning that what is shown here should be what you're seeing when you log into Blackboard. So now the question is, where should I start once I'm into my Business 301 course? Well, that should be an easy question for you to answer correctly. On the menu on the left, over here, we see Start Here Syllabus. So let's click on it. And this folder contains, surprisingly, the syllabus and lots of other uh, very important information. So first we see the syllabus at the top. You should read this document very, very clear, closely and carefully. We'll come back to it in a little bit or in another video, but this is where you find it. Next, you will see a course expectations document. Again, you should read this document carefully so that you understand my expectations of you as a student in this course. Again, uh, we'll look at that probably in a different video later on. Next is the information for the textbook that we'll be using for the course. I've written a custom book for our class. I've tried basically to distill lots and lots of information on the topics we're covering into something succinct and relevant, things that I think are important. Uh, you purchase the PDF version of the book from LeanPub by clicking on the hyperlink right here. The book will be updated throughout the semester and once you purchase the book, you own the book forever including any and all updates. So when I when I update it, you should get an email. You simply have to go back to LeanPub and download the latest PDF version. An added bonus of using this book is that it's much cheaper than the traditional alternatives by big name publishers. And then the final item in this folder is information on how you get Microsoft Excel 2016 for your personal computer for free you get you have this as a USM student we will be heavily heavily using Excel in this course so you need to make sure you have a working copy of Excel 2016 on your personal computer and it's important as, that it's that version because there's some stuff in there that um, is new that we're going to be using next let's look at the materials link so when I click on this we'll find all of the course materials broken down by unit. Right now I only have a unit 0 folder out there called preliminaries. Other unit folders will, will be released soon. Going into the unit 0 folder you can see that some of the different types of items typically found in these folders. Uh, there will be readings like this where here's the basics of Excel document that um, is from another textbook that I'm borrowing. Uh, some Excel files. Here's a video that I made on two important Excel functions, if and some product that we'll be using quite a bit. The Excel file for that video, some slides for this unit. Um, and then when I finish with this video for the Blackboard site, I'll probably put it up here at the top to see how it goes. All right, so next let's explore the quizzes link. So all of your quizzes will be found under this link. Additionally, all quizzes are administered only in Blackboard. So the only way to submit a quiz is by going to Blackboard and taking it. Right now the only quiz released is the acquaintance quiz, which you can see is due by Friday, September 8th. This particular quiz is worth 5% of your overall course grade it should be an easy one for you to get started off on the right foot in this course. In other words, get 100%. It basically asks you questions about the syllabus, the expectations document, things like that. Making sure you understand what the expectations for the course are and what kind of, and when things are due, stuff like that. Um, so you can take each quiz twice with the highest grade counting towards your overall course grade. 
you will probably get different questions on each particular attempt for any particular quiz. So if you take a quiz a second time, please be sure that you read the questions carefully so that uh, because they will probably be different than a previous attempt. The next major area to explore is the link Excel assignments. So there are five Excel assignments for the semester. I've created a separate folder for each Excel assignment and indicated when each one is due. So Excel assignment one is due September 13th. Within each folder, right now it's blank, there's nothing in here. But what I will be doing, I'll be posting any relevant data files, Excel files, and the actual assignment which you click on and then answer. And a lot of those are, uh, there'll be, you know, a short number of questions, five or so, five, five to ten, uh, or you have to answer the questions based on some manipulation of those data files. And just like the quizzes, the only acceptable submission is through Blackboard. And again, you have two attempts with the highest one counting towards your overall grade. Now let's look at the exams link. There are three exams for this course, an exam one, exam two, and a final exam. Each exam is released for approximately 24 hours in which you have five hours to complete it once started. So the exam is timed at five hours and the timer starts once you start the exam. Here we see that the first exam is scheduled for Monday, October 2nd, right there. It will be released at 12.01 a.m. just after midnight Eastern Time and is due by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Time that same day. When we are closer to the first exam, I will provide more details about it. But in short, I will give you some data files and then ask you a bunch of questions related to the units that we recently covered about the, about the data. You should note, however, that the final exam is cumulative. That is, it covers all the material and all of the units that we studied during the course. And there will be a, um, a final exam folder out there as well at some point. The next link is the writing assignment link. I put this off by itself. Um, please carefully read the details document for more information right here. You submit your writing assignment as an attachment to the project writing assignment assessment link, this guy here. All right. It is worth 5% of your course grade and is due by Wednesday, December 6th. So it's due at the end of the semester. It's a Wednesday, not that Friday, that Wednesday. Um, so please uh, read this to get an idea of what is expected of you and then at, throughout the semester start thinking about it and working on it. You may also wish to use the discussion forums under discussions here. I've created one discussion forum at the moment. Um, so you might want to think about asking questions that you think are relevant for the entire class here. It's a generic Q&A forum for this purpose. Asking your questions here will allow other students to see your question and answer it. So those are the major areas within the course's Blackboard site that you should familiarize yourself with. And now, good luck and happy learning.